Hey, y'all. Uh, I just came on here to give a word of encouragement to somebody who will happen to see this video if you do share it. That's in the valley of decision right now. You have to make some life-changing decisions and it's going to affect the trajectory of your life. And there's a tugging right now in your spirit. Um, and one side is tugging towards you what you know you are called to do, what you know your purpose is, what you know fulfillment is. And the other side is this urgent need for provision and this urgent need for financial security and social security. Um, but I want to tell you, a life of purpose is a life of provision. Pastor Luke Kwamena, I saw a video from him a couple of days ago, and he was explaining a scripture that Paul quoted. I've never, ever came across this scripture and understood it like this. Paul said, I press on. It's in Philippians 3. I press on that I may lay hold of the thing for which Christ lay hold of me. In other words, God didn't put me here for no reason at all. There is something that I need to lay hold of. But the reason I need to lay hold of it is because Christ put his hand on me. He laid a hold of me so that he could reach that thing. Um, and honestly, I have many things. I have many accomplish accomplishments for where I am. And if I could come on here and I could talk about it and I could tell you that I worked really hard. I could tell you that hard work pays off. I could tell you that, you know, I have the keys to success. But the truth of the matter is when you erase all of that, it was just me deciding and making very, very hard decisions to follow purpose, to follow what I know God placed me on the earth for. I have traveled extensively and 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 a lot of the stuff that I have, when I say stuff, I mean earthly stuff. I live comfortably, but a lot of the stuff I have is not because I traveled and I went all about. And, and honestly, when people... You know, people have speculations and all of that. And sometimes I just I just want to brag and I just want to flex. But the truth is, it's really me just following purpose. Because a lot of times purpose took me into places where I was expecting something and I didn't get it. Sometimes before I went there, I know that there's really no drawback from this. But I had to go and touch the things for which Christ touched me. I had to go and meet people. I had to minister. I had to have a conversation that I did not want to have. Yesterday, I ended up having a conversation with a gentleman that I really never envisioned having. And I honestly believe that something was deposited into his spirit after we finished having that conversation. And that is why I made this video to remind you that the provision comes from living a life of purpose. God will never send you to do a thing. God will never ask you to do a thing. God will never tug at your spirit to go do a thing. And he does not provide exactly where he sends you. No, it is not your responsibility to figure out whether it comes from the east, west, north, or south. Provision comes from the Lord and it doesn't come from anywhere else. So whatever decisions that you have to make, Go and seek the face of the Lord. And I understand that people don't want to do this. And, and every time I make videos like this, People say, but I don't understand my purpose. But I can't really help you. And nobody, as a matter of fact, can help you find your purpose. Like you going straight to the Lord and asking him, why did you put me on this earth? Why did you allow me to be born in this family? Why you allow me to get these qualifications? Why have I gone in this direction, even though I had all the qualifications, but doors don't seem to be opening? And, and it's hard because one... We're afraid of the answer we will get because it's our will going against the will of God. And two, we're afraid that if we pray that God will not hear us. But God says, if you come to him, then he will hear you and he will respond to you if you come with a broken spirit and a contrite heart. So there is provision in purpose. There's nothing that Samuel has. Nothing that came from man. I don't have a university degree. I have never worked well, I worked secularly, but that was not for any extended period. I was still living in my parents' house. I have not inherited any big money from anybody. It's just me telling the Lord, yes. Even when it is painful, even when you know you got better options, even when you know there's no prestige in this thing, just telling the Lord, yes. Even when you can't explain to the people around you why you're doing it and you just got to duck your head and wish that you could respond and, and defend yourself, but just tell the Lord, yes, and move on. And the provision comes. Not from east, west, north, south, not from people, not from systems, from nowhere. It comes from the Lord himself. So do what you feel in your spirit the Lord is talking you to do and watch the provision come.